Today is an awesome day where we'll be testing a whole bunch of the water machines. These are hydroelectric nanotechnology machines and they can take water vapor in the air and make it directly into electricity. I put a whole variety of them out today and we're going to test them all together. Different forms and different structures, but the nano inks and capacitors with them will produce electrical energy from the humidity. one. Now we'll use this miniature one here. Another miniature one over here. This one is an all ink cell. I was kind of curious to see how this is going to go. The all ink cell is also producing energy. This one was designed for the most amperage. I'm testing the voltage on all these first. This is the voltage flowing through it. It has a very erratic and changing voltage, but also quite high. It goes up quite a bit high and changes polarity sign. large variations in this one, both numerically large variations and polarity sign changes indicate that this is an active capacitor discharging and charging itself very rapidly. I think I'll take some amperage measurements on it later. This is one of our earlier ones. This one has two dendritic antennas and a very long battery capacitor formed out of the ink. A regular capacitor is hooked between the two reading electrodes. The much higher output and voltage on this one is due to the very long length battery capacitor system that's been put on this. It's almost the entire length of the wood, and it has a lot of individual cells within it created by the nano inks. The nano ink cells, because there's so many of them, boost the voltage. They have a higher than normal voltage output.
day, definitely our most interesting one was this. Very dynamic and switching of sign.